We're usually inside. We're gonna be making a mess tonight, guys. Kevin is going to show you how to cut a tree, a holiday tree, Christmas tree, whatever you wanna call it, out of a pallet. So we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. This is free. Free. It's free, guys. Pallets are free. So we actually cut these up and sell them. But we're going to show you how to do, do that yourself. Yeah. I painted this one yesterday with, um, I painted it with opulence. We're using a very bright light tonight. And then I highlighted it a little bit here and there with rich gold. So I don't know if you can see what I did, but first I painted the whole thing with the opulence. And I did some very, very light stenciling. I wanted it to be very faint. And then I did some dry brushing with the gold on the bottom. I wanted it to be the kind of thing where you look at it and you don't necessarily know if it's painted another color or, or not. But I just wanted, before Kevin starts cutting, I wanna give you a couple of quick tips on painting pallet wood. So I, I tried painting directly on the wood it doesn't go really well. Even if you dry brush, it doesn't go really it's well. It's really rough. So yeah, it's brittle, it's rough. Um, it's strong, solid wood. It just isn't like the wood that we're accustomed to painting like furniture. So what I did was I took a spray bottle, which I generally have on hand anyway. So whether you have a regular spray bottle or a mister, what you wanna do is just <clears throat> spritz the wood a little bit first not drenching it, just giving it a little, like a dewy mist, and then paint right over that. The, the wood is so dry that if you paint directly on the wood, it's gonna absorb it. S sucks it right and up. And you're gonna need to do like four coats, which to me is a huge waste of paint. So I sprayed, and I'm, I didn't drench it, I just spritzed it with the, with the water. <clears throat> I did one coat. It looks like I have a little bit less than I do because of the gold. The gold makes it look like it's the wood a little bit, but believe me, I did only one coat. So it was pretty awesome. So Kevin and I are gonna switch places and um, he's gonna show you how to do this. So this is standard palette. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of a background on palettes. So if you go out and you see a stack, you don't have to throw your, you know, you don't have to waste a lot of time. Um, a lot of them are made of hardwood, uh, oak, Oak is, a, oak is a popular one because it doesn't rot, so they, they use them and it's very solid, so the pallets, are, the pallets will last for a long time. I have two pallets tonight that, that I'll, I'll give you. So when you look for a pallet, what you want, um, you want to look for the, the, top, the top side. So there are two sides to a pallet. This is the side they would stack material on. And here's the back. The back is always uneven, so you don't, want, you don't care about the back. You find a pallet that, I like this, it's got a nice thick board on it, but the boards are nice and even. So you're gonna get a, a tree just like Risa showed you um, with, nice, with nice even boards. So is there any kind of special design of the pallet that you wanna look for? Yeah, so most pallets, most, are, so if you look at the size, they're about 40, a little more than 48 inches high, probably about 42 wide. It's a standard size so that they fit in trucks. Uh, most will have three, three boards going down them. The most important one that you want, you want a pallet with a support board in the middle because as you, as I'll let that stand up, as you look at this, when you cut it, you lose the two on the ends. So you're really going to be looking at, and this is an uneven one, this is what the back looks like. You, we leave these on so it's, it makes a nice carry handle, first one. So this is, this is a nice one, I like this, this is in great shape. But sometimes you don't find pallets, and I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second. Sometimes you don't find pallets, and you use this one also, in the greatest of shape. Again, don't worry if, if it's dirty, if it's got water stain. This has been used a bunch of times, it's been repaired, you can tell this is a different board here. If the nails are loose, that's okay. You'll nail them in later on. You can tack them in. Sometimes I'll put screws in them. But you see how this is broken? So what I'm gonna show you, you can do, I'm gonna make a shorter tree with this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start here, and it's gonna be a shorter tree. I'm gonna start with this one first. So what I'll do, 
And this one has a heavier board, a thicker, wider board on the top. So I'm going to use this on the top. The reason I'm going to do that, because when I cut it, I'm going to start here, and it, and it gets narrow, so I'm going to have a nice triangle piece on the top. If I use the really thin board, I'd have a tiny little piece, and it might break off. So this is going to give me a, a halfway decent little triangle at the top. So I'm using, so and again, this is a safe, you need to be safe. So I would not suggest if you've never used power tools, find someone else who has and ask them to do this for you. This is not yeah. what you'd really want to learn. We want to be so, safe. So I'm kind of showing you this to be understanding that I'm using a couple of power tools, but you want to be very careful. Um, the first being uh, a circular saw. Um, and I've got, I've got a regular, um, this is I think a seven and a half inch. Um, I've got a, a carbide blade on it, nothing special. Um, the reason I have a carbide blade, occasionally you may hit a nail. And if you've got a plywood blade or some really a fine wood blade, you'll dull it quickly. Um, I'm gonna try to avoid, I put them off camera. I'm gonna try to avoid the nails, and for that I have a sawzall if I need to. The sawzall, um, super, super easy. Um, I'll use that because I'm gonna have to cut through the, uh, the top part of the board. Plus, if I actually have any nails that are in my way, the, the pallet underneath is kind of a mess. Um, if I have any nails in my way, I'll use this. Um, this is a, a bimetal blade. Um, so if you, if you go out and you wanna buy a package, a simple, cheap package of blades, the bimetal blade, the teeth are, are really big, but they're also not as pointy as wooden wood blades. So this is made to cut through nails. My daughter asked me this tonight, what if I make, what if I use a hacksaw? So if you use a hacksaw, I would use a regular wood saw. If you want to use a wood saw, as you'll see what I'm going to do, you're going to have to cut through, and you can do it, you're going to cut through every board all the way down. It would probably take, eh, it might take a couple of hours, depending on how fast you cut. Uh, maybe, maybe an hour. Um, so, yes, you can do it by hand. You don't need power tools. In the end, the other, the last thing that I'll use is just this little, little palm sander, because um, I'm going to sand the ends off. So you get, you know, so they're not rough. Loose pieces of wood, so you can handle it. Um, I'm going to use a 60 grit, which is a really heavy grit paper. So the, the lower the number on sandpaper. The, the grittier it is, so 60 is pretty gritty. If you use a 200 or a 300, that's really fine. But I just want to take the wood off and, and really hit it really quickly, and I'll do it quick, I'll do it fast. I usually use my ear protection, or my eye protection, and then I have earplugs also. So what I'll do, I've got this set up kind of the way I want to cut it. Mm -hmm. I'll take some painter's tape. You can use also, uh, like a big magic marker, um, which is fine. If you use a big magic marker, when you, when you mark it, when you cut it, you'll probably have um, black magic marker marks on it, which is okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the top, and I'm gonna run the tape down to the corner. Um, when I run it down to the corners, I'm gonna run it down at the inside of the board because I wanna cut it off, if you can see that. I want to cut it off on the board because I want to get rid of the side piece. I don't want to have to. I don't want to cut through this if I don't. If I don't really don't need to. So. Okay. So I'll kind of start this here. I'm going to paint, or I'm going to cut on the inside of the line. I just run my tape. I'm actually using this as my mark, and I'm going to cut right along the line. Everybody, be careful, um, and you want to want to make sure so it does get a little loud. So put my earplugs in. And even though I have glasses, um, I'll wear a shield. I don't. I'm not a fan of safety goggles because I wear glasses because it makes them fog up. So I kind of like the shield. The shield works really well. It gives me plenty of room. I can see well. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Because we cut the top, but we haven't cut the back. I'm going to cut the back a little closer in so I can actually use this line here. That's it. Wow, that was easy. But these, some of the, so some of the boards that are, that are loose, you can just drive them back in with a hammer and that will take care of it. Now this is the broken one. So what we'll do, I'll start with my tape. We'll make this a little shorter. Okay. Yeah, so. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start right here. There's one board in the back. Wow. A piece of cake, right? So here's the magical surprise. This, this one, I think, is, one I think this one is going to be perfect. So why don't you sh show us on this little one how you sand the um, sand it down to make it smooth? That's what I'm gonna do now. Okay. Yeah, please. Sh if you do cut one of these up and paint it with Paint Couture, share it on Paint Couture Showcase because we want to see it. We want to see. Okay. So again, simple little say. I love the love a palm sander. It's an orbital, so it, it works really well. So you just have to tighten that one piece of wood and you're yeah, done. I usually, I, I, you know what, like this is loose, I always, but, I'll, but the nails are there. So you yeah. hang them back in with a hammer. I would, tight, I would tighten them all up. Yeah. They're almost all like this. Yeah, I love this it. little one. This is my favorite now. And while you're cutting it, a board breaks off, it's not ruined. You just put it back yeah. on again. Exactly. So this is a super nice one. I like, actually like this, it's cute. Yeah, it's very cute. So that's how simple it is. He just did, he did two in about 20 minutes. So here's all the fours. Yeah. Right. So here you go. It really, you know, you get three, it gives a little depth. It does. It depth. does. Yeah. But nice. Again, it would take me, as you saw this, it would take me a minute to sand this off. Yeah. You can see how long you're not cutting a lot of wood. I have a Subaru wagon out back. Um, I open the tailgate, throw the seats down. So if you're thinking, will these fit in my car? I slid these right in the back of the car with no problem. So a pallet will slide in the back of a Subaru. Yep. Um, depending upon, you know, I'm thinking a Civic or another thing. Pull the seat down, put a blanket on it. So, you know, you make sure that it doesn't get- What about a Chevy? 
any, I think any kind of a, a decent hatchback, mm -hmm. because, because the width is about 42 inches. What about a Volvo? Probably. Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> put, a, put a blanket down, um, set them in the back. I can fit, I can fit five pallets in the back of my car. So one trip, you can go through the pallets and make five trees. What about a Hyundai? I don't know. I, I think he's on to me now. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We had a blast. And, and please share your pallet wood trees on Paint Couture's Paint Couture Showcase because we want to see them. Have a great night. We will see you next week. Every Wednesday night at 730 is date night for us. So you're on our date with us. What a great date we had, huh? This was a fun <laughs> date. Who, who doesn't like a guy with power tools, right? Exactly. Like Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> yeah. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye -bye.